What's going on, y'all? Before we start this video, I would love to tell you guys about this app I recently bumped into called Challenges. So Challenges is an app where you can go online and earn money by doing, you know, funny challenge videos. You know, it's kind of like that Nerf movie if you have watched it. And hey, apparently, it's really simple. So we go into the app store. Boom, Challenges by Aristica. Let's open that. Let's see some of the challenges that we currently have right now. Let's do one real quick, you know what I mean? Perform a kissing scene with a book. Hmm, yeah, this one sounds easy. Five dollars, let's do that one. A set. And now, I just gotta upload my proof. Let's go ahead and do that one real quick. See what I did there? <laughs> I also added a dying scene at the end. You can't get no better than that, bro. Challenge completed. I've just earned $5. Yes, it's that simple. So yeah, if y'all want to make money by filming awesome, funny challenges, y'all can find the download link in the description below. <sighs> bro, I have something to get off my chest. I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. For some reason, I'm just starting to just despise the world of fashion. When I'm speaking about fashion, I'm talking about those high-end brands, you know, like Gucci, Balenciaga's, uh, Versace. I feel like they just be doing too much nowadays, bro. Like, seriously. I swear to God, in 2019, people call everything fashion. I'm just starting to hate it all, bro. At this point now, bro, I'm just thinking of just throwing all the whole world fashion away. I hate that photo shoot. <laughs> I hate how they dress. I hate that clothes. And most importantly, you know what I mean? I hate their prices. Their prices just be doing too much nowadays. And the thing is about it, don't matter how ugly the stuff look, like people still buy it. And that's what baffles me, <laughs> to be honest, bro. So because of that, I wanted to put a certain thing to the test. You know what I mean? I had the dream, and this idea really came in a dream. I was sleeping, you know what I mean? I woke up, I had this idea, you know what I mean? I was like, bro, let's put something to the test. I want to be able to design my own shoe. I want to design my own clothes or whatever, you know what I mean? Come up with my own photo shoots and whatever. Come up with everything myself, Photoshop, like, for example, a Gucci logo on my design and see if people would buy it basically testing the question will people in 2019 buy something just because of the name don't matter how ugly you look or how expensive it is will people do it that's what I wanted to put to the test let's find out <laughs> step one I need to do my research I need to know what it is precisely what I need to do in order to make this experiment successful. You know what I mean? Let's find that out. Let's head on to Gucci's Instagram account. Now for this video, what I think I'll be doing is using um, Gucci or of all other fashion brands out there. Really, because Gucci has some of the stupidest clothes. And like I said before, the price is very expensive. So yeah, I feel like that Gucci brand would just be the perfect fit, you know what I mean, for this video. Or for this experiment. So when you go on these fashion brands and website or social media accounts, you'll find there's a lot of outfits that people wouldn't normally wear or nobody I feel like would wear. For example, like bro, who the heck would wear that? There's no reason nobody would put on this hat. <laughs> she don't look good. Bro. Look at this photo. This girl literally has on shin pads. No one would wear that, bro. I don't know why they sell those things and put those out. Let's take a look at some of these Gucci shoes. I realize in fashion nowadays, they do a lot of garbage. They make shoes dirty. That's how the shoe come, you know? That's how the shoe is made. Gucci thinks, okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make the shoe. We're gonna put dirt stains on it. We're gonna sell it to people for an overpriced price. And people would buy it. And the thing is, people do buy it. This does not look good, bro. At least this nigga understand and 28 more people. <laughs> I'ma like that. Here's another look at the sneakers. Both colorways is just ugly, bro. Damn. Gucci literally has stuff for your heirs now. Why would anybody want that? Let's look at another outfit. Like, bro, why, bro? No one would, why? Why would they sell that? Like, no one would put that on, bro. I don't know of anybody who would like, so yeah, 
that's a good outfit. I do those fashion brands. The people that work on the outfit are coming with these outfits. You know, they have to most likely bring it to other people before they can release it. The fact that this outfit actually went through multiple people and no one said, nigga, that look weird. I just don't understand, bro. Another outfit, ugly as hell. Three more outfits. All of those are ugly as hell. Let's go to this Gucci advertisement. Bro, everybody in this picture look weird as hell. We got two school shooters in this picture. Come on, take a look at this guy, Rachel. Be real. He don't look like he shoot a couple schools in his lifetime. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the prices that Gucci be, you know, working with nowadays. Oh, they got those shoes. What are the prices of those ugly shoes? $7.90 for these shoes. $790. Why would people buy a dirty shoe for $790? No. $890 for those. They look like clown shoes, bro. Nigga, if you give me those for free, I wouldn't want those. Bro. We got a garbage bag. They selling a garbage bag for $5,400. Let me look at that better. $5,400. Just a regular white shirt. No, the logo is not on it. The logo is literally at the tag at the back. That's where the logo is. And it costs $380. For a white shirt where the logo is only hell. You gotta show nigga. He's like, bro, you wearing a normal white shirt. No nigga, that's Gucci. Look. That's what you gotta do to, tell, to let niggas know that's Gucci. $380 for that. Nah. So, anyways, that's basically what I'm trying to show you all. Basically, what I'm trying to research. You know what I mean? I did this research basically because I'm trying to. Uh, by the end of it, you know, screenshot some looks, some outfits, you know what I mean? Because I want to put together my own outfit. Or put together something I feel like a Gucci advertisement campaign would, you know, would wear. Or what the models would wear in a Gucci advertisement, a real one. I want to put those looks together. I want to find my own team. Take some shots. Put shot that Gucci logo on it and see if people would dig it, you know what I mean? Just because of that name brand. I'm going to try to recreate them as close to as possible. So yeah, now let's move on to step two. I need to assemble myself a team. Let's go ahead and do that. Damn. What's going on, bro? Chillin', chillin'. Man, I'm on the road right now, bro. Shoot, I had to call you up because I have this little video idea I'm trying to pull off, dog. I need your help. Basically, what I'm gonna need for this video, and as soon as possible, I know you got the connections to plug when it comes to this certain kind of thing. I need you to find me two girls for this video, bro. You know, like the modeling type girls. Uh, I, I got you. They need some hottie hotties. Right. <laughs> exactly. Uh, all, right, all, right. all right, bro. Boom. <laughs> okay. We got the team assembled, bro. All right, what's going on, people? So, as I was telling y'all niggas yesterday, I'm shooting this little video, and basically for this video, I'm gonna need y'all niggas to dress as stupid looking <laughs> as y'all possibly could be but I'm not stupid we basically going for what I like to call elegant fashion come up with the most randomest outfit ever don't get a match at all actually I don't want y'all to match just make it look like elegant fashion don't color coordinate just find something you feel like looks like something you know Gucci and specific would wear and put it on I went on Gucci's Instagram page and I have some references I'm gonna send y'all those pictures so y'all can see basically what I'm talking about but yeah when y'all done I want y'all wear the outfit put it on real quick and send it to me you know what I mean what I'm gonna do is check them out make sure they're nice and as soon as possible, as soon as I get everybody to agree on a date, we can be able to head out and shoot these pictures, you know what I mean? We're gonna try and recreate them as best as we possibly can. The schedule is tight right now. I'm just trying to work in as much things as I possibly could right now. So yeah, thank you once again and peace. <laughs> okay, now we can move on to one of the funnest parts. We gotta do some shopping. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean, so yeah, I think I got my outfits together. I got the shoes I want to put with the outfits, and yeah, I think when it comes to the clothes, we are officially done. But no, no, no. Actually, that's. I think I have to go shopping for one shoe. I'm gonna let y'all niggas know why later on. Let's go ahead and do that.
Okay, so I'm at Spot Center right now. Spot Center is one of the only, one of our very few shoe stores we have in the Bahamas. I'm ahead in there and I'm gonna go look for one of the ugly shoes I can find in there to hopefully use for this Gucci shoe. After I do that, there's one more thing I have to do. What I would like to call some manipulator. And then we can sell them. Let's do that. I got the shoes uh, right here. Here they are, right here. Now, I know I said I was gonna get some, you know, ugly shoes. These shoes aren't necessarily ugly, but they're the exact kind of look um, I want them to be for this shoe, basically. Color I wanted, the shape I wanted, you know what I mean? Without all this Nike stuff on it, if you really like look at it, you know what I mean? It looked like one of those designer shoes, you know what I mean? Especially when I put my little Photoshop magic on it. I'm gonna make it look like a real Gucci shoe, bro. So yeah, these are the ones I had to get. I spent a total of 137, 150 on these shoes, bro. If you could see that, doubt it. So that's 150 just for a damn <laughs> video. Uh, so yeah, let's get on to the next part of this experiment. We're done with that photo shoot, nigga. We finally done. It may not look that way, but it took a few days to set this whole thing up. Wow. So, <laughs> the electricity just turned off. Literally, as soon as I press the button, it will go record, bro. As soon as I hit the button. I guess I'm gonna shoot this in the morning, bro. And this hurricane ain't coming to kill us, bro. Oh, damn. Bro, look at that rain, bro. <sighs> Let's get on to it, bro. So, the photo shoot is completely done now. You know what I mean? We got all the photos. I have some inspiration shots of what I'm trying to go for, trying to replicate. You know what I mean? Let me go ahead and show y'all niggas that. I don't want to bore y'all, so I'm not, you know what I mean, go into every little single detail, but I want to show y'all basically the ideas that I came up with and the shots I decided to go with real quick. You know what I mean? And by the way, all the pictures are already edited, so I'm going to show y'all niggas also the before and after to some of the pictures so y'all can see basically where I was trying to go with the stuff. I got my head at you. Let's move on to the first one. We got this one. This is the before picture. This is one of the outfits that I came up with. Uh, yeah, we dress stupid. That's the before and that's the after. Before 
after. Simple. I gave myself options, you know what I mean? We took like pictures in like four to five to six, I think, different locations. I just wanted to give myself that kind of option when going forth into this photo shooting stuff, you know what I mean? And by the way, all the pictures I took myself, I would have my phone in my hand. I can knack my phone to my camera. I put my camera on the tripod. I press the button. It goes on a timer, you know what I mean? And it takes the picture. So all the pictures I took myself, you know what I mean? Every last single one. So this is the first one. Like I said before, before, after. Just did some color in the written, that's it. Let's go to the second picture. We got this one, another location we used. Dress kind of stupid. But yeah, nothing really too special about it. Uh, it's okay. Like I said, give myself options. I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna actually use. Let's move on to the next one. Bam, before, after. Now this is one I'm gonna use. I basically wanna pick like maybe five to six photos. I'm gonna post out there um, from this campaign shoot, you know? So you gotta see which one makes my cut, basically. So this is one I think I'm gonna use because it has like a nice magazine look. Let me show y'all niggas the after version. Boom, zoomed in. I zoomed it in so it could be able to fit on Instagram. And boom, Gucci fall collection. I don't know why I put it there, but I felt like, you know, if I put it there and make it look more legit. Fall collection, bam, that's the campaign photo. I'm gonna use this one for one. I think this is gonna be one of them I use. You know what I mean? Boom, let's move on to the next one. Bam! Before, it's a little shot we did, you know what I mean? I end up cropping. <laughs> <laughs> Our foot is in it, as you can see. I end up propping out. I felt like us two outfits in this picture like blended so nicely together. I don't know, of course, if I'm gonna use the picture, but like I said, I wanted to give myself options, so I had the picture there anyway. May use it, may not. So this is a shot we did. This is like one of the first shots we did that day. Uh, so what I did, like I do with all my photos, color it, boom. You know what I mean? Gucci shop the new digital flag ship star Gucci.com like if you if you was to go on Gucci like searching on Google or whatever they always have the same quote under the Gucci logo so I decided to do the same thing on my photos you know what I mean so yeah that's the before that's the after and I also added like different crops for Instagram that's the landscape version that's the square version and this is the portrait version it gotta fit basically it gotta fit the whole screen when I post it on Instagram because that's what I plan on doing so bam next one boom we are sweating bro I tell you I had a turtleneck on I had a coat on I had a shirt on over that I had this long down pants long socks I was sweating bro me especially look at my face deep sweat bro <laughs> I was dying out there bro so that's the before version I think it's a dope picture I just didn't like that I had the fool in my hand and I don't like how his hand look I look crippled like look at that I look like you know that kind of like that's wrong I, I shouldn't have. all I did really on this one is uh add color to it basically boom bah. I even smoothed out the face a little bit you can see right here you know just to move some of the sweat off my face niggas don't sweat in Gucci photos so here's another one you know just a regular shot the colors are very toned down in the original shot I just added a bunch of color to the after version so that's the before that's after big difference so now I squared it up took the phone on my hand you know it looked nice before after campaign version but it looked nice bro it looked like good this look like an actual Gucci yeah you know I mean thing move to the next one I know my fly is kind of down but hey whatever before and this this is the after version. Now when you add the Gucci, you get make it look like an actual Gucci advertisement. But right, reading hot. Let's go into the next one. We got boom. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Boom! Colored it. Put a lot of green in there. You understand what I'm saying? Gucci the logo up. You understand what I'm saying? Squared it up. You understand what I'm saying? You can't get better than that. That look nice, bro. To be honest, I, I take pride in coloring photos. Because I feel like coloring a photo can make it look so much different, bro. That look like a whole new nigga. Look at that. Color could do a big difference when it comes to photos, bro. I saw the photo and I was very inspired by, you know, these walking photos from Gucci, by the way. So I wanted to do something similar to that one. So we came up with this. As you can see, these are Versace shoes, but I don't think no one's gonna realize. People don't really pay attention when it comes to stuff like that. This is the before version. This is the after version, you know? Just colored it and I softened the skin a little bit for both of us. I also did a different variation of that. Shop the digital fly ship store Gucci.com. Boom, that photo is done. We have another one also, you know what I mean? Walking one. This is the before. This is the after. That looked dope to me. So that was it for the photo shoot portion of it. Now we move on to the shoes because what I wanted to do, I think I mentioned it before. What I wanted to do is basically get my own shoes, you know, as y'all see it ready. I rubbed it in the dirt, made it dirty, just how this Gucci shoe is. I'm gonna dirty some shoes for myself. You know, let me see if people can actually buy it if I photoshop a Gucci logo on it and, you know, make it look nice. So yeah, I wanted to basically replicate a picture like this. So what I did, you know, I made it different. I went in my car, you know, got those shoes that I bought already. Yeah, y'all saw them. Let me show y'all niggas. We got these shoes. I rubbed these in the dirt. I haven't washed them yet. I put them on and I took a quick picture of these shoes in my car. You know what I mean? So this is the before version. I did some manipulating to them and I added my own design to it. So this is the very, very first design I came up with. And when I say I took hours, I took hours trying to figure out how I'm gonna make this like, you know, something Gucci would sell. And this is the first thing I came up with. After, you know, getting the shoe done, I didn't like it. So I was like, bro, try something different. So I did something different. 
I tried something new. So this is what I came up with next. Added the snake thing on it, some butterflies, Gucci, and all this, I actually rendered in myself. I actually hand cropped those stuff in myself. Wow. I felt like this is a dope shoe, but I was like, you know what, Christian, let's do something a little different. Let's try something else. So I just did the complete snake on the shoe. Added the little Gucci things at the corner. You know, I was like, I wanna do something new. Let's try something different. So, <laughs> I did something way different. I came up with this one. When I made this shoe, I was like, okay, this the one. I changed the background picture, as you can see. So the match more. It's like a little mountain with the sky. This is the shoe I came up with, bro. And I was happy with this one. So, out of that Gucci logo. Did another crop for Instagram. And yeah, I was done. To make it more legit, what I did, I came up with this campaign. Now this is the original photo. I got it on Google. I searched Gucci advertisement or something like that on a wall. Let me show y'all niggas the after version. Boom! That's not the after version, that's just the first version, you know what I mean? It looked too it looked too good, you know what I mean? Because when you look at this, it looked like it actually on a wall. This looked like that was Photoshop there. So what I did to kind of lessen the, the, the quality of the photo, plus make it look more real, I added a few stuff to it. Let me show you on this. Boom. So what I did, I added some little green on it. I added some light glares on it to make it look like, you know, it was actually in the sun and somebody took it. Compared to this, it looks more real. So what I'm gonna do now, now that I have the photos, it's time to move on to one of the last phases. It's time to basically market myself. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make my own website. I'm gonna put these shoes on and make it look nice, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna see basically in about a week, maybe, at tops, see how much shoes I could sell by these fake advertisements that I got right here, you know what I mean? So yeah, let's go ahead and do some of that self-promotion. Okay, so it's been literally five hours, bro. I made this website from scratch. I also bought a domain. A domain basically meaning I bought the website, like .com. I bought that so it could be more legit. You understand what I'm saying? The hardest part of this website, well, other than actually making the website, was actually trying to find a name, you know what I mean? Because all those names are taken. Gucci.com. GuccistarCom, Guccishop.com, all those was taken, you know what I mean? So it's hard to find something that I actually could use. Let me stop talking. Let me show you niggas, you know what I mean? And I actually got it up. It's up right now, you know what I mean? www.theofficialgucci.store.com. Boom! It's up. I didn't see nothing but that, bro. You know what I mean? I designed this website from scratch, bro. Designing it. it took me about five. I'm looking at the time right now. It took me like five hours and 23 minutes, bro. That's how long it took me, bro. And yeah, I got it done. So I thought of a question. Um, so what, what would happen if someone would to purchase one of their clothing? Like, where would, where would we go from there? But you see, right? Um, if you actually go on the website, and by the way, it's up right now, the official Gucci store.com is up, up. You know, I need to search that right now. So if anybody actually go on the site and purchase it, I have a setup through PayPal. But the thing is, on the other end of the PayPal, I have no actual PayPal connected to the website. So as soon as you pay for it, it's not gonna actually go through, through. You know what I mean? There's no other payment plan on any of it. You know, just imagine like a road, right? Someone on this road, and I'm on the next side of the road. There's a block in the middle, and that's where I would keep going each time. Someone try to buy something. It wouldn't go over that block, you know what I mean? Because I didn't put my PayPal up. So basically, I'm not even on the other side of the road. I hope that makes sense to you. <laughs> so, you know, by doing that, I didn't want to take people's money. That's what I don't want to do, you know what I mean? Even though I could send it back, that's easy work. I can just send the money back, no problem. I just don't want to do that because it's a lot of work. Plus, you know what I mean? I don't want to fool with nobody money. I don't want to touch nobody money. You know what I mean? I just want to see how much purchases we got from that, basically. So I can see how much money we made from our little, you know, experiment. So, yeah, bro. That's what happens <laughs> in a long story. You know what I mean? If someone actually presses, buy now. And also, the person has to have the money on their account for it to be able to even 
reach that blockage, if that makes sense to you. You know what I mean? So random kids can go on the website and press buy now and just put in some kind of random number for a card number and think it's gonna work. No, you gotta actually have money on your account. Like I like that feature, but it, it ain't really a feature, but I like that mainly because you know what I mean? I got more of an accurate number as in who buying these products basically. You need to have the actual money on your account for it to even work. Uh, so I can see it on my end. To be like, okay, bam, this person paid for it on this date and he spent this amount of money. Bro, that is so hard, bro. Like, honestly, I find that, like, really amazing, bro. That's a good way of, like, tracking down, like, a good experiment, bro. So, I can't wait to, like, see the outcome of it. Boom. I don't know if you see that, but I finally found the sponsorship. You know what I mean? It's up. It's up. Up. Boom. Ah! What's going on, bro? So, it's been two days later since promoting all these uh, pictures and stuff for the site, etc. You know what I mean? I was on Facebook with it. I made ad promotions on Instagram, you know what I mean? And oh, I did it on Instagram. Let me say that real quick, and I mean, just so y'all know. I promoted myself on Instagram in a different way. I didn't want to make an Instagram account like I said I was going to do, but I changed my mind last second. I felt like it was smarter this way. That's what I did. I didn't want to make an Instagram account to promote it. Because what you can do, if some of y'all niggas don't know, you can actually make a Facebook and promote it through your Facebook instead of your Instagram. I did that just for one reason, you know what I mean? I don't want to start a whole new Instagram and people be able to click my Instagram profile for the website, of course, and see that, okay, this account or this business only has about 20 followers. It don't look legit. So I say, you know what? I'm not making new Instagram for this, you know what I mean? I'm gonna make a Facebook and connect it through the Facebook and make promotions on Instagram through my Facebook and that's possible you can do that. Just for that simple reason right there. I mean, I don't want nobody clicking and check up and be like, man, 20 followers? This can't be real. So, the two Facebook is there. So, I did that. I promoted it through Twitter, Facebook, itself, Instagram. And bro, two days later, we finally got our first purchase, bro. You know what I mean? I didn't see what you Bro, $1,500. Of course, the shipping was free, as you would see on the site. I'll give a second the shipping is free so they didn't pay no additional cost of course the money didn't go through there's no back end on it as you can see the rest of these says zero 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 and all those two days bro two days but we finally got our first purchase and, and it's just the beginning bro you know what i mean we got a whole week we got how much more five more days i want to put five more days into this you know what i mean i want to push some more ads out i'm paying for those ads with my own money like i said i'm not pocketing nobody money so i'm losing from this video basically you know what i mean like i'm putting money out i'm not getting money back basically you know because i'm not taking nobody money but in the case if I was to actually have the shoes, I would actually make a big profit. And that's basically the goal I'm aiming for for this video, you know what I mean? What people buy just because of the name. What's going on, bro? We get our first purchase. No way. I know, they're focusing. No way. Yeah, but I mean, of course the money ain't going to us. You know, he ain't really going nowhere because it's a dead end. But hey, we could have we made 1500 Bro, that's <laughs> <laughs> We could have made 1500 just like that. But I think I posted the pictures online um, two days ago or a day and a half ago or something like that. Those shit's fresh though, I'll buy them too, shoe. But the thing is, right, what I did just for, you know, um, experiment purposes, I put the same shoe, I took the Gucci logo off and put a Skechers logo there. Man, nobody oh. was messing with it, bro. <laughs> I didn't get no likes, I mean, ads and everything. I didn't get no likes, I didn't get no comments, like people are scrolling straight past it. You know what I mean? Because they Skechers, so nice. Yeah, nobody just messing with Skechers. I put Skechers right, and I put the price at $20. Nobody messed with it. You put it for $20, I yeah. bought it. So then I put Gucci, and I put $1,500. People messing with it now. Man, I should show you, bro. bro. Oh my god. They wouldn't be surprised if Gucci take one of these ideas and post it. Man, I know, man. Gucci take the whole idea. The next thing you see them, they come with a whole shoe, just like that shoe. Exactly. With the butterflies and all that. Everything. Fire. They say, man, this is our design. Yeah, bro. I about to come out the phone. I sweat in the hot, but I can link you later, though. All right, Yeah, I don't. Mm -hmm. Boom. 1500. <laughs> Five more days to go. Let's see how far we can push this, bro. <sighs> 
What's going on, bro? So it's, it, it's, hold on, wait, let me see. It's Thursday, September 5th right now. I don't know if y'all can see that. Sorry if I'm kind of wrong with those dates. And I mean, that's second dates, honestly. It's day three since uh, those ads being up. Day three of this experiment. Well, I've been on it longer than three days. But I'm saying as soon as I posted those ads, that's when I start counting. Yesterday, as y'all know, we made our first sale. You know what I mean? 1500 for the shoes. I don't want to say the guy name. It was the guy who bought it. He was the first person to buy it. It's the very next day. And guess how many sales we got since yesterday, bro? Just a few hours, basically. You know what I mean? Because we we made that sale like late last night so it's a new day and we made a whole four extra sales bro you're equaling up to seven thousand five hundred i don't know if y'all can see that as well we made a whole seven thousand five hundred dollars so far bro and i know y'all niggas probably wondering as well you know what i mean how those uh i don't wait let me show you on this i screenshot this because it's hard to find my ad i be scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling i say bro where the hell my ad is you know what i mean that's right y'all so it has a whole eighty four thousand likes on instagram bro some of the comments saying fire emoji these are the best shoes gucci has ever made guess who liked it too as well you see him both the fastest man in the world you see him but i felt like that was dope seeing that you know what i mean each day is getting even better and better first we started with one sale very next day four sales we made a whole seven thousand five hundred dollars bro that's fast money bro anyways though we have more days four more days left to go we have more things to do we have more money to make apparently <laughs> you know what i mean let's see how far we can push this in the exact four more days that we have left for this experiment let's go ahead and do that <laughs> GQ, right there. Let's keep going through it. Let me show y'all niggas some real magic right y'all. You know what I mean? By the way, they got the Gucci um, advertisement. That's the legitimate one. They also have it in the back. You know what I mean? But hey, I got something to show y'all niggas. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look at this. Boom. Ah! Mm. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? We got that page, bro. We got an entire page. Not a half a page. We got an entire page on there, bro. And what's the funny part? And right next to actual Gucci advertisement. That's extra promotion and extra legitimate, legitimate seat. You know what I mean? All that extra stuff, you know what I mean? Be in an actual magazine, bro. I couldn't stop looking at that. Boom! <laughs> I can't stop looking at that, bro. That's a perfect picture, too, y'all to me. You know what I mean? I know. I know y'all can say, I wanna shake it. No. This is not fake. So I can turn each shit, every page. Uh, shoot. I would hold it by one page. <laughs> I don't want nothing on me. All the pages turn. I want y'all to see the edges of it. Nothing is stick together. You know what I mean? Boom. Some of the pages in um this thing um a little more thicker than others. This this yes, that stole to me, bro. Can't get no better than that. You know what I mean? What's going on, bro? Woo! Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Ah! Mm. Mm. Anyway, so we all niggas know what that chicken means. Keep the shirt by the way. If you win this, let me see your ankles. I want to start selling these shirts again to him, bro. You already know. Anyway, so. Shoot. Hot. Anyway, so like I was saying, y'all know what that chicken means. the change shirt real quick you know what i mean hey there's a new shirt check it out i hate that i'm bringing attention to this this is really what damaging to relationships families and is just so wrong boom i got this shirt also i want to start selling these shirts i want to do cheap though you see this right y'all sweaty the stuff i do to entertain y'all dancing and stuff outside you know what i mean this is wet right now and i also i don't know if you can see it i also rip my down pants trying to do the splits for y'all niggas entertainment but anyways though y'all know what that means y'all know what the chicken means we did it bro let me show y'all niggas bro it's been a week later and guess how much money we made i know y'all niggas never gonna guess it. we made 
a whole $94,500. We sold a whole 63 shoes, bro. We sold 63 shoes in a week, bro. 63 shoes is $94,500. I'm gonna show you niggas a close up after it. A whole 202,068 people like uh, that, that um, ad on Instagram. Out of 200,000 people, 63 people decided to actually buy the shoe. Now, when you really look at the comparisons with the numbers, it doesn't really, you know what I mean? We didn't even get half. Half of those people didn't even buy it. Like, a quarter of those people didn't even buy it. That really shows people like, bro, likes don't got nothing to do with actual sales. You could get likes and comments all you want on Instagram. You got a million likes, but that doesn't mean you have a million dollars. You know what I mean? That doesn't mean that. Out of those million people, you probably gonna get a hundred people who actually decide to be like, okay, let me actually go and buy it. Out of 200,000 people, 63 people, it's like, okay, let me go buy it. But because of how high I put that price at, and of course, you know, I did that for a reason. You know what I mean? Everything in Gucci expensive. Like I say, um, with this experiment, what I did, I changed that, take that Gucci logo off, put sketches there, sell it for $20. Nobody's messing with it. Didn't get no likes, nobody visited the site, nothing. So what I did, I changed it. Put that price to $1,500. Put Gucci on it. Everybody interested in it now. They don't really care about the price no more. It got that name. I don't know, we even had a few celebrities who even like the app, you know what I mean? First, obviously, you see him, but no, it's not. No, it's not. It's the nigga from Stranger Things. I'm gonna put a picture down so I know what I'm talking about. You got Normani. Normani, bro, I love her. She fine to me, too. You got SZA. You got Fat Joe. And we got Pac Sun. Uh, the reason I know is because, you know, when you click a post and it show the people that you follow that also like that. 80% of the people that like, follow on Instagram are celebrities, you know what I mean? So that's how I you know who liked it, you know what I mean? And I'm sure there are other celebrities who liked it that I just don't follow. Y'all know the goal of this video. I basically wanted to, like, put it to the test to see if people would just buy anything because of the name Brown. And I proved that today if you ask me. In a week, I made close to $95,000. And I'm not even a real Gucci. So imagine with the power of actual Gucci would actually do, if that's the sentence. If they was to actually post that same shoe I do, post it online, same price. If I could make $95,000 in a week, they could make probably that same price in a day. They probably could make more than that, you know what I mean? I wouldn't even be surprised, honestly, after I drop this video, I see Gucci coming with the same design. By the way, if they do it, y'all know where I come from. But yeah, bro, you know what I mean? I felt like the experiment did way better than what I thought it did. I just wanted to hit $10,000. $10,000 would be 15, 15, 15, 15. That would be like nine shoes, I think. If my math is right, ten thousand dollars would be like nine shoes. We end up selling sixty-three shoes. I just feel like, brothers, this experiment, this went, this went amazing, bro. You know what I mean? This exceeded my expectations by a thousand. Anyways, though, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want y'all niggas to leave a like, bro. I'm sweating us at bad. The Hamas, the hurricane is gone, by the way. Thank God. Um, I'm safe, by the way, people. I'm good. It just the sun is out now. The sun is killing niggas now in the Bahamas. Now we hot now again. The weather is amazing. I really appreciate that y'all watch the whole thing. See, you know what I mean? I started literally from. This shoe, this page in the magazine to uh, making close to $95,000, bro. A week later, one week later, bro. Anyways, though, like I was saying, thank y'all for watching my video. Thank y'all for sticking with me throughout this whole process. Make sure y'all like, subscribe to the best um, YouTube channel in the whole YouTube world, you know what I mean? And peace. See y'all next later.